Paramedics rushed through the streets of Beirut on Friday after Lebanon was hit by a targeted Israeli missile. The country's health ministry says at least eight people have been killed and nearly 60 were injured. I'm scared to go far from my area and house. I come for a change of atmosphere and then I go back home and I don't leave, which means that I'm not at ease. Fear is there for sure. Israel saying senior Hezbollah commander Ibrahim Akil was among those killed in the airstrike. Akil had a seven million bounty on his head from Washington over his link to the deadly 1983 bombing of the U.S. Embassy in Lebanon. The explosions in Lebanon's capital were heard from the city's southern suburbs, not long after Hezbollah pounded northern Israel with 140 rockets. Those missiles intercepted by Israeli defenses, except for one here that made it through the Iron Dome. The year-long conflict between Israel and Hezbollah is the worst since they fought a war in 2006, but the violence has intensified this week after Hezbollah was hit by an unprecedented Israeli attack where pagers and walkie-talkies used by its members exploded, killing 37 people and wounding thousands. A lot of these injuries are life-changing injuries, and that is why detonating these uh, devices in civilian uh, areas and among civilians is clearly a war crime. Lebanon's caretaker health minister speaking on Friday at a news conference in Beirut, saying that approximately 1,200 surgeries had been performed since the attack. The militant's group leader has vowed to retaliate. The latest exchange of fire once again increasing fears of an all-out war in the region as the war in Gaza rages on between Israel and Hamas. Afia Ba, City News.